Have you ever looked up at the night sky and seen a bright, moving object? It might not be a plane or a satellite, but the International Space Station. Today, we're going to explore this amazing feat of human engineering and collaboration. Welcome to our video on the International Space Station, or ISS for short. Get ready to learn about life in space, groundbreaking research, and international cooperation. The International Space Station is a large spacecraft orbiting Earth. It serves as a home for astronauts and a unique laboratory for scientific research. The IS orbits our planet at an average altitude of 400 kilometers or about 250 miles. It travels at a speed of 28,000 kilometers per hour, completing an orbit every 90 minutes. That means the astronauts on board see 16 sunrises and sunsets every day. The ISS is a result of collaboration between five space agencies. These agencies represent 15 countries, the United States, Russia, Canada, Japan, and several European nations. Construction of the ISS began in 1998 and was completed in 2011. However, new modules and upgrades continue to be added. Now, let's talk about the size of the ISS. It's about the size of a five-bedroom house or a football field. The station has six sleeping quarters, two bathrooms, a gym, and a 360-degree view window. Solar arrays spanning 73 meters, 240 feet, provide power to the station. Life on the ISS is quite different from life on Earth. Astronauts experience weightlessness, or microgravity, which affects every aspect of their daily routines. They float instead of walk, and they have to secure themselves while sleeping to avoid drifting. Eating and drinking also require special techniques and equipment. For example, drinks come in sealed pouches with straws to prevent spills. Exercise is crucial for astronauts on the ISS. In microgravity, muscles and bones weaken quickly. Astronauts exercise for about two hours every day to maintain their health. They use special equipment like treadmills with harnesses and resistance devices. One of the main purposes of the ISS is scientific research. The unique microgravity environment allows for experiments that aren't possible on Earth. Scientists study a wide range of topics, including biology, physics, astronomy, and materials science. For instance, they research how plants grow in space, which could be crucial for future long-term space missions. The ISS also serves as a testing ground for new technologies. These technologies can benefit life on Earth as well as future space exploration. For example, water purification systems developed for the ISS are now used in areas with limited access to clean water. Let's talk about how astronauts get to and from the ISS. Currently, they travel on Russian Soyuz spacecraft or SpaceX's Crew Dragon. These launches take place from sites in Russia or the United States. The journey to the ISS takes about six to eight hours Resupply missions are crucial for the ISS. These missions bring food, water, oxygen, scientific equipment, and other necessary items. Several spacecraft are used for resupply missions, including Russia's Progress, SpaceX's Dragon, and Northrop Grumman's Cygnus. The ISS is visible from Earth with the naked eye. It appears as a bright, fast-moving star in the night sky. Many people enjoy spotting the ISS as it passes overhead. There are even apps and websites that can tell you when and where to look for it. Communication between the ISS and Earth is constant. The station uses NASA's tracking and data relay satellite system to communicate with mission control. This allows for real-time video conferences, data transmission, and even social media updates from space. The ISS has been continuously occupied since November 2000. This means humans have been living in space nonstop for over two decades. Astronauts typically stay on the station for about six months at a time. Let's discuss some of the challenges of living on the ISS. 
Astronauts face physical challenges like muscle and bone loss, vision changes, and exposure to radiation. There are also psychological challenges, such as isolation and confinement. NASA and other space agencies study these effects to prepare for future long-duration space missions, like trips to Mars. The ISA has played a crucial role in advancing our understanding of long-term space habitation. It's paving the way for future space exploration, including potential missions to the Moon and Mars. The station also serves as an example of international cooperation. Despite political tensions on Earth, the ISS continues to operate smoothly with multinational crews. As we look to the future, the role of the ISS may change. NASA and its partners are discussing plans for commercial space stations. These could take over some of the functions of the ISS in the coming decades. The International Space Station is a testament to human ingenuity and cooperation. It continues to inspire us and push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. Next time you see a bright moving object in the night sky, remember it might be the ISS. And think about the astronauts up there conducting experiments that could benefit all of humanity. If you found this video interesting, please like and share it with your friends.